Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn JSP with Mahesh. So today I wanted to do a video exclusive for students who are in the beginning of their career into the programming languages. So engineering students who uh, in the first year or in the, the following years in their career, they are going to do some programming languages. Uh, the most important thing as usual, uh, language uh, languages which is going to be important are C in their first semester, Java, Python, uh, how they can do it practically. So uh, using Cloud Shell is what I wanted to show. And uh, um, a disclaimer which I wanted to keep here is this is for students. I have made it very clear here. So this is for students who only have a smartphone which is OTG compatible. Uh, so if uh, anybody watching this video who have a laptop, uh, I would say you can skip this video. So because if you have a laptop, you can definitely install uh, the various runtimes, uh, uh, the compilers, and you can do it on your laptop. So this is for students who only have a smartphone. Uh, uh, so for such students, I wanted to show this uh, thing. So uh, in a very cost effective manner. So the whole intention is how you can use Cloud Shell for your learning purpose. So I have a small setup which I have taken a screenshot. So I have a tab uh, which is OTG compatible. Uh, I use tab only for a better view here. So where you see uh, OTG cable, I connect to my uh, existing uh, connected to my existing keyboard. So why I'm using this OTG cable with the keyboard? So it's going to be easier for you to type in. So if you have a phone, it's going to be very small. The form factor is going to be very small. It would be a little difficult. So if you can afford to buy a OTG cable with a keyboard, uh, it's going to be really easy for you to do it. So basically, so what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to first show the entire setup uh, in using my laptop. And towards the end, I also have a recording which I have done. Uh, it may not be one of the greatest recording. So I used a, a, a connect. Uh, first time I recorded it using a smartphone. So I'll try to add that as the end video where you can see how the entire setup was done using the smartphone or the tablet with uh, a OTG cable and how I practically did a Python Hello World example. So let's get started. All right, so I'm in my private window. So I would strongly prefer you to do also in your phone in a incognito window or the private window. Uh, prefer to use Chrome browser. I have tried it in Chrome browser, it worked. So if you want to try something in a different browser, you can give a try. So I have not tried it. So just wanted to mention that very clearly. The first foremost step which you need to do is basically uh, type this URL HTTPS cloud shell dot sorry, shell uh, ssh.google.cloud.google, uh, ssh.cloud.google.com. So this is the URL. I'll also put this URL in the uh, description so that you can easily use it. So because I'm in a private window, it will not show me my existing account. So I'm just going to log in with a, a brand new a Gmail ID uh, and connect to it. So. So let me log in. So it may ask for an oh, verification number or something of that sort. So let me just enter my verification code and then I should be able to uh, connect back. So I have two factor authentication. So if you don't have it, the step is could be uh, skipped basically. So let me just enter that and I don't want to pause this video. So I just wanted to show the the practical stuff here. So I have got my uh, this thing. All good. So now uh, it's going to log in and this is the first time using that Gmail ID I'm logging in. So you will see a, a, a screen like this where manage your infrastructure and develop your service applications from any browser with Cloud Shell. So Google recommends any browser. So, but I would prefer to use Chrome browser. So Chrome and Google goes hand in hand. So agree to the terms of services here and click on start Cloud Shell. Uh, the same thing is what I have also shown using my tab. So you will be able to see it, but uh, the quality of the video may not be that great. So that's the reason I'm doing it in my laptop so that you can see it as a better thing. The first thing, uh, it's provisioning a Cloud Shell machine for me uh, on the fly. Then it's going to connect it and it should be able to then do basically the uh, the 
editor which is the most important thing for the students to type their program C Java Python whatever it is so now I have seen the stuffs it has come up and you may not see this error message uh, in your uh, mobile phone or your tablet uh, the reason is here uh, the cookies are blocking it um, so I can just allow cookie then I'm going to just reload my screen it's going to show up uh, the stuff that error message should not show up so yes so now I see my cloud shell editor at the bottom of my screen uh, I see my uh, terminal now just some small settings you can click on this gear icon if you want to increase the font so I'm going to increase it so that you can see it better so this is what you see basically this is a Linux machine uh, uh, folks now what we will do is we'll basically create three programs a C program uh, which has been a very long time I have not done a C program so I'm going to copy paste a hello world code a uh, Java program uh, again a hello world and a Python program and you don't need to install anything and if you were to install some modules for your Python or for your Java you can install it the reason is Google gives you this cloud shell free of cost so you get basically you get basically 5 GB of storage uh, for free this part this part so almost close to 5 GB uh, or you can type this command ls block you should be able to see uh, the 5 GB is mounted so you can install whatever you want uh, in your home directory so you can keep everything all the files are also going to be kept here so this is a slightly a, a added advantage compared to your emulators which you may get basically uh, there so what I'll do is I'll try to create a small program so and by doing this you'll also learn some Linux skills uh, students that's a key part here so as a student you are going to learn some Linux commands also so I'm just going to use a command called as touch uh, hello uh, hello world dot C so if I put ls I see that file now I type this command edit hello and hit tab so avoid typing too much so in a Linux you can definitely use a tab uh, in your keyboard so hit enter what is going to happen is it's going to show up basically my cloud shell editor where you can type your commands where you can type your commands so as I mentioned it's been a while I have not done C program I'm just going to copy a hello world example and paste it here alright let me paste my code here so done now uh, because this is an editor it has some syntax highlighting now uh, semicolon if I don't put it is going to throw an error so uh, very cool feature right so in your learning phase you'll definitely make mistakes so you can use this as an option so hello world GCP rocks so GCP rocks so maybe if you want to put a, a new line character or something you can put towards the end uh, if if you want basically uh, let's not put it so that's it so I have my code ready now what you can do basically is now you know the process if it's a C program how do you do it you just compile it so you get a GCC compiler in GCP uh, cloud shell uh, which is going to be this version so just go ahead and use it GCC uh, before I compile it just wanted to show you there's only two files now if I compile it you will get an assembly language uh, assembly code so dot s extension so done so sorry you get it and you will also you will not get it so if you put minus s or something you will get that flag so uh, you can look into the specific instance how to get it so what I have got is a dot uh, an executable file so if I do dot a dot out it's going to show me the output uh, hello world dot uh, hello world uh, GCP rocks so if you want a new line character or something you can put it uh, as I mentioned it's been a while I have not done this programming uh, so I'm just going to use a new line character uh, see whether I can get a better output 
So let me just compile it one more time. Uh, good. So I get a new line character. Uh, so now it's really working fine. So this is your uh, C thing. So let's try to do a hello world in Python. So uh, Python, you get it into different flavors. So you can just type Python hyphen hyphen version just to know the version which is installed. It's not the latest version. 3.9 is the latest version. 3.7 is what you see. Uh, this should be also good. Now, if you want to do, do everything in the terminal, type Python. Let me just drag it up. Python 3. Uh, it's going to show you in the terminal. Now you can just say uh, a variable, something like uh, uh, something like GCP equal to uh, hello world, hello world, GCP rocks. So that's it. Now if you do print, you should be able to uh, get the output. Awesome. Now if you don't want, uh, you quit this, oh, sorry. I quit. Sorry. Quit. If you want to do the same thing in a, a file, what you can do the same thing. Touch hello world.py. Edit hello.py. Uh, so you should be able to see the file coming up. Now you can just type uh, other simple stuff. So print should be good enough here. So print hello world uh, from Python DCP rocks. So done. And uh, there's an option here. I have not tried this. Uh, let me give a try if it works. Uh, okay. If I just click on it, it just shows me the output. It shows. So I tried the same thing in the, the tablet, which I have. So it did not work. So give a try. So if it works, good. Otherwise, no worries. You can use your terminal here. So there's a command which I use as a shortcut. Uh, control plus L. If you use, it's going to clear the screen, folks. So... Control L uh, clears it or you can also type say for example C L E R even if you type this it's going to clear the screen. So now let me just do Python Python 3 uh, hello.py that's it all good. So let's lastly do one small example on Java uh, the Java which you get in uh, the cloud shell by default is going to be uh, the version is going to be 11 version if I'm not wrong. Yes. And you get the, the JRE which is going to be basically uh, 11 also. So the same thing touch hello world dot Java. Now I will do edit hello world dot Java. Let's try to write a small hello world uh, Java and try to compile it and show you the stuff. All right, uh, so I have uh, pasted a command, a small code. So people who have started learning the Java, so you know the naming conventions, how to do the file name and the class name should all match all those things. So hello world uh, from Java, GCP rocks. And if you very uh, closely observe it, you can see those icons also, folks. Python icon, Java icon, all those things. Now, uh, the way you compile it, it's going to be Java C uh, hello world dot Java. It should compile it. You should get a dot class file. Now, what you are going to do basically is run it using the command Java hello world. That's it. Comes up. So you were able to do everything. Now, if you were to install anything more in Python, Java, all those things, you can install it. For example, in Python, if you were to install something, you use pip, uh, use pip or pip3. Based on that, you can install it. So let me see whether pip is there. So if it's not there, you can install it. 
pip is there. So pip is there. Now if you want to install, say for example, a, a component, just type pip install the Python module. Just install that. It's going to install. And this is going to be there only till you keep the session live. So if you just close this tab, come back after some times, it's going to be not there. Uh, basically, uh, the content is going to be uh, ephemeral. Make sure whatever you install, you install in slash home your uh, root uh, in your home directory. If you install something in some other location, it's not going to be persisting. it. So that is the important thing here. So that's the video which I wanted to share, uh, folks. I'm going to attach uh, the actual demo which I did uh, on the tab as an additional video just for you to get a confirmation that this works in a phone. Um, um, so, so that you are very uh, sure and you don't need to pay any single thing, any a single penny. What you need is all a Gmail ID. Uh, is a, a Gmail ID. If you have something like some other ID like uh, Outlook, uh, Yahoo, there's also an option which you can do. Uh, I'll also put that in the description. How if you have a different Gmail ID, how you can do as a student. So hope you like the video. Let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section. Thank you for watching.